All right, everyone, welcome back to the Taco Stacks YouTube channel. I bought a storage unit here for $5. So right now we're going to clean it out quickly. Uh, there's a lot of clothes. I don't really know if there's anything past the clothes because you can't go in these uh, units when you buy them. So I'm uh, going to clean out, spend five bucks. Can't be a $5 deal. Good, should be at least $5 worth of something in there. Uh, so let's jump into it. See what we bought at the storage auction. Scheduled for auction. Brought these bags from my van because I know there's clothes like thrown on the ground and I want to put it in there rather than carrying clothes. Now let's just hope I have the right key. So for this, for example, they auctioned it off. It was a very long auction. There was probably close to 30 units here and maybe about 50 people. So the auction took forever because everyone had to look and then you had to walk over there and it was just a very long process, but see, we got it. Alarm might go off. Five bucks. Can't beat it for five dollars, right, guys and girls? There's got to be five dollars worth of stuff here. Um, I see what looks like maybe a hamper or something hiding back there, but you don't know what's underneath all these clothes or what can be in these garbage bags or what can be in this basket. Five dollars was it like subway used to do a five dollar foot long we're doing the five dollar storage unit so what are you even working with in here i guess i can probably even use these hampers Ooh. there we go air maxes they are a little crushed they aren't destroyed those are actually really nice great tread on them so that's your five bucks back i can i think what i should probably do um is make up a hamper of stuff that's probably going to be ebay worthy and then the rest of the stuff like those carpets and stuff i don't know if that's a, that might be a towel i mean those i'll just throw in a dollar pile but that is our money back on the first thing similar to the last storage unit video i did well you got a bra in there um i think i found like a hockey jersey like the, the first thing I pulled out, and I didn't find any other sports stuff until like maybe the last bag. This looks like it's gonna be all clothes. So I'm gonna draw on some clothes and take that out. The loading process here isn't too difficult. I just have to walk down that hallway, and um, that's about it. I wonder what's in that thing, that trash can. Professional makeup, probably used. Garbage, There's bags and bags. Put that over there. So yeah, we got a lot of cool Carhartt. There you go. These are a little stained up, but are they overalls or just no? They're just jeans. Just jeans. It looks like it might be a costume. that there's got to be other things besides just clothes in this unit but to be honest i don't know that's all kind of hefty brought some knives or some knives. what is that oh it might be a shoe it's like a thing of soap studs studs suds suds that is interesting that's what clunked that has jeans. I won't bore you too much with that, but I don't know what we're gonna find. There's nothing hiding inside here. Flops. Pants we got here. A 
Adidas. Some Adidas pants. I'm gonna find treasure, folks. I can feel it. Some oddball stuff in here, like why are there spoons? Two spoons, unless there's some kitchenware that's mixed in here. There might be stuff that's inside this bin. I think that was the only, only bin that was in this storage unit. Uh, what the heck do we got here? Another doll. Um, that's a jack for your car. 50-50 antifreeze. I don't know what this, that might be a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Soprano recorder. I think I mentioned this in a previous video. Why did everyone in my generation have to learn the recorder in school? It was like universal. Like other generations might have learned like the saxophone or the trumpet. My generation, we learned the recorder. Maybe because it was cheap. That might have been it. And a freeze is half full. I don't know if I'd put this in my vehicle. Looks like there's a brake caliper as well as some screwdrivers at the bottom. So maybe like two bucks in scrap there. This I might be able to get a dollar for. Not finding any other hidden gems. Now there's a dirty rag. So for five bucks, um, not all the time can you buy units for five dollars. It's just getting harder and harder to find uh today was i don't even know how to say it there was some units that sold for like 600 700 and i'm just like that's what happens when you have like 100 people here 50 people here usually there's only about 15 or 20 so like everyone buys like one or two if there's something really good it goes for a lot of money but uh like every unit was going for a lot so you gotta get the deals when you get the deals we're just going into the clothing business. That's just how it's gonna be. Let's see what's in this bag right here. See possibly more clothes. Ooh, looks like clothes. For people who might remember from my pallet auction, I had a ton of Abercrombie stuff from the y2k era this i think is a little bit newer um i sold every single piece out of there that was not completely stained so abercrombie's making a comeback it's a long thing it's just outrageous all right digging through this bag right here i see one shoe one lonely shoe what is this flip-flops so flip-flops for me don't sell too well shoes however sell very well this might be brand new. Not a scarf. That's a scarf. Um, this is a. That's a box. We'll see what's in this thing. I'll see the other shoe. Oh, I found the other shoe. So shoes like this really don't fetch a lot of money, but they always sell. So I made a couple ba bucks back here and there. That always helps to see what's in this bag. I also didn't bring my camera crew along, so we're kind of rocking out with you guys on a uh, trash can. I don't know what this can be. Soda slime. It looks awful. It's not a food product. Do not eat. What the heck is it? Oh, it's all over my gloves. Oh, it smells awful. Oh, this is a. Uh... Huh? That's broken. Checkbook in here. One knife. So I did find some more Carhartt. That's what's on top of there, but they're Carhartt um, jeans. It's actually Under Armour. I think I actually 
I own a pair. Look exactly what's the size. Uh, it doesn't have a size. Go figure. It's size large. I might have to throw this through the wash. Actually, a pair of Under Armour sweatpants I have, and then I have another pair that I absolutely love. It's not Under Armour. It's a different brand. Don't know off the top of my head, but I found it in a, uh, I don't know if it's a storage unit or a pallet auction, and I cleaned them. They came out great. They look brand new. Very comfortable. So not too bad. Um, I am making up bins for donations. That's kind of like the pile of stuff that I'm going to either clean or research, as well as the shoes. And like I say, I do apologize for doing one hand. It's actually, it's climate control in here and it's freezing. Uh, so my tripod or my chest mount is in the, the van. Um, yeah, I don't know why it's so cold out today. I know I didn't just show that, but it's a pillow. Let's see if there's anything else hiding back here. What's in that backpack? We don't know. Ah, is this a jackpot find? It's Amazon free time. That might just be a case. Is that a Kindle? Is that an iPad? Hmm. Oh, there's the Amazon thing. What's the Amazon thing? Fire? Probably just peek a little on the back. Can't see it, but yeah, you really can't see it. It's there you go. See the logo right here. My thumb was there. You go. I don't know if it works, but once again, probably more or worth more than five bucks. I did very well selling the uh, the broken laptops I had at the flea market. And somebody asked me if I had tablets, and I said, I don't think I do. He's like, Well, you have cell phones? I'm like, I don't think I do whatever I have I have out there. Um, but I sold a bunch of laptops, and the guy asked me about tablets, so here you go. I'm sure it's got to be worth, once again, more than five dollars. Not too shabby there. Just hiding in this bag. Well, I don't know what the... Looks like a pillow. It's a comforter. What is this, though? 2XL. That's... Although I wouldn't say it really affects the price, going up and down these stairs can really make you think secondly about buying one of these big units on these second floors. Uh, back in the day, and this is kind of the problem of buying storage units on, online. This was in person, but buying storage units online, sometimes you have really wonky ways to get to your, uh, to your unit. So just keep it in mind if you're looking to buy something. This might be a nice little jacket. Express. That is a pretty nice jacket. So that will be washed Ooh. that's trash more backpacks it's made by justice clothes don't smell too bad but they don't smell the best This one's also in good shape. Look, some more sneakers. And that is, I think, the matching shoe to that. That is. So they're crushed, unfortunately, but these shoes you can just easily reshape. You put some cardboard inside. Um, it's got some gunk on it, but I mean, they're five bucks a pair. These are really nice. This is all paperwork. First thing on top is from. First thing over here is Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Parole Board. And more knives. Got a cord that goes to something. Sometimes you can find out a little more, but that does not say anything. Oh, we have a varsity jacket in there also. This is American Eagle. At least I think it's a varsity jacket. What? No, it's Team Crooks by Crooks and Castle. I don't 
Not familiar with that one. Crooks and Castle. Whatever that is. I don't know what brand that is, but that's that. This was gold not too long ago. One roll toilet paper. Put that in there. Um, I also do like, I think, well, probably about two years ago, I bought a unit at this facility. It was on one of these second floors. And I might still have like one package left. It had probably three garbage bags filled of toilet paper in like the eight or 12 packs. It took me a while to go through all of it, but about down to like my last pack or two. So. I'll just add that to the pile. This place just, well, let's just leave it at that. The last thing in this thing would be this. I don't think I showed you that. There wasn't anything in there, but we got one more garbage bag. And by garbage bag, I mean book bag. Looks like we got some notebooks. So these I'll donate. In fact, I saw on Facebook yesterday, someone in my area was looking for free books because they're making an art project. So books, which are something that not a lot of people buy. Let's see if there's something in this compartment. Looks like they might even have some more books. I have six. Just clothes. Nothing at the bottom. I'm not hiding anything on you guys and girls. Huh. So not a bad unit for $5. I mean, I have a lot of stuff that I'm going to donate. I have maybe three things right here of stuff that I'm going to look up or bring to the flea market. The rest of it will probably be donated or trash. The clothes I always donate, um, but for $5. I know I've reiterated a couple times, you're not losing money at five bucks. You're not, so. It was a good unit. Let's uh, let's pack these bad boys up. I don't know what Team Crooks is. Kind of sketching me out with that thing. Quick. All right, well, it looks like that's all she wrote for this storage unit. Make sure nothing's hiding behind these corners. That does not look like it's the case, but another storage unit down. Thanks for tagging along with me. It's been fun. It's been an adventure. Stay tuned. There'll be many more throughout the rest of this year. Spending upwards of $100, $200, $300, maybe getting units again for $5 or $10. That'd be awesome as well. But you never know what's going to be. It's always a treasure hunt, always a mystery. Thanks for tagging along. If you guys enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe down below for more treasure hunts just like this. And of course, until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.